Hello everybody, uh, this is last time, and today I'm going to do another Minecraft tutorial. So, I just started with opening up Mono Development and Unity 3D. I already did that. Um, I make a new script, call it AI, and save it somewhere in your script folder. Um, and if you can see, I also made a quick model of a guest. I know it doesn't really look like a gas, but um, I guess this should do for a tutorial series. So, what I basically suggest is I just made a giant cube with some little cubes in the bottom. Um, also, you need to add a chart controller to it, So, but that's it. Uh, this AI script is just a finished version of my old script, of my of the script we're gonna make now, I'm sorry. So I just open up Mono Development with a new script, AI. So let's just start by typing a variable uh, target. That's uh, pretty simple actually. Uh, I spelled it wrong. Um, and that's a transform. It's not becoming green, so I did something wrong. That doesn't really matter. Our next variable is gonna be our move speed of our mob. Uh, move speed. is equal to int and that's equals to um, 3 I guess 3 is a good number um, I'm gonna make another variable rotation speed um, sure fine whatever you want to do it always does that when I'm recording Rotation I don't really can spell rotation speed um, equals to in the course and equals to one or two. Uh, let's just take two. I think one's a little bit slow. Var. Um, for my transform, so this doesn't need to check always for what's my transform. So, my transform um, it's equals to transform, of course. Um, why is this one green and this one isn't? Oh, I see. Stupid mistake. I made it here also. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm typing a little bit wrong, but um. Uh, also, we're gonna need to make a var. I'm gonna call it spotted. Spotted. And I'm gonna set it to false by default. Ah, uh, false, false. Uh, and the last variable is gonna be the explosion. So it's gonna, it's not gonna be a gas that shoots like fireballs. This is going to be a gas that shoots itself. So it's basically is gonna do a little like a creeper. Actually, I wanna make. I want. I wanna just copy stuff from Minecraft. So I, I'm, I made a gas. That was my. Gas and creepers are my two favorite mobs in um, in Minecraft. So um, well, I can type and speak at the same time. Um, they are my two favorite mobs in Minecraft. So I thought just let's combine them a bit to make the ultimate mob, and I did into a gas creeper do thing. So just type your default function and we need a wake 
for to set or transform. Um, the reason I didn't put this into start is because when we die or something, I, I wanted to do it again. You know, it always checks your transform in awake and uh, you know, awake. My transform equals transform. Bit logic. Uh, and now we're gonna make a start function. Start, and this is where we're gonna set the target. So target equals game object dot find objects with tag this one right there um oh no wait just find object find with tag um it's gonna be equal to player I think the default player tag is player with a capital P so we're gonna just try it if that doesn't work we'll change it and then dot transform. So now we're gonna make our update function and then call it update. <laughs> nope. Update and basically we first gonna tell it the distance so var distance with small d so we don't get the distance with the capital D on times gonna mess up everything is equals to target target I'm sorry dot position so it's gonna look for its position now I'm gonna do it minus my transform the position and then it's going to magnitude magnitude and just close that so this is our distance between uh, our character and our mob and if this distance is smaller than let's say 10 or something if you don't like that number you can choose something bigger or something smaller I don't know I think 10 is fine and then spot it is equals to true and if spotted is true then we're gonna set in the chase so if spotted equals true then we need to um, let's see what do we need to do oh yeah our transform first so my transform dot rotation 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 so we're gonna let it rotate towards us um, no it wasn't like that it was equal to and then quaternion quaternion, yeah. quaternion dot slurp I really don't know what that means, but I do know it has to be there. So, <laughs> transform my transform dot rotation. So, we're our transform rotation again, um, come on turning it again and this stands for rotations in unity so dot loop rotation and then target 
Now we're gonna tell it's credit where we are at that moment. Dot position minus my transform dot position so we're gonna um my transform may be a little bit confusing for you guys but my transform is the transform of our mob and uh, not or the transform of our cherry cherry um and then um we need comma I don't know if you can see this real well but let me make it a little bigger so you know you close this one and you s just come on and then rotation speed so we're gonna multiply it by rotation speed multiply it by um, time dot delta time of course time dot delta time and if you slow down the time or you can do slow mode time as well that's something I'll teach you next week or something. <laughs> um, my transform that position. So now we're gonna do um, position. So we're gonna let it move towards uh, me. This one is a little bit shorter. Uh, my transform the position plus equals um, my transform dot forward. Um, and now we have to multiply this by our move speed, so that's um, 2 I think it was, or 3, 3. Um, and then we have to multiply it by the time, so other times it would be multiplying itself every frame and we wouldn't want that, so we have to multiply it by time, dot delta time once again. Uh, delta time basically means the time difference. Delta means difference, uh, at least in programming and in mechanics. So, boom. Oh, we need to stay in spotted. Um, now we're gonna make some statement that unspot us. So when the distance distance is less than um, uh, is bigger than 30 uh, or f no um, I think 20 or 25 25 is a nice number then we're not spotted anymore so then, then it can see us and it will stop the chase so spot it uh, I really can't die for shit man <laughs> And then our spot is equals to false. But also, if the distance is smaller than 2, so the distance is smaller than 2, then we are gonna set the statement explode x load. Um, so now, it, but it doesn't know what explode is yet. So we just create have to create a new function, explode. Um, I think that's the same. Yes. And then we have to type spot it. It's equals to false, of course. Um, spot it equals to false. And we need to wait. Um, we're gonna let it wait for a couple of seconds. So, wait for seconds. And I think 1.5 is an okay number. And then we basically want it to destroy itself. But before we do that, we need to instantiate. Um, instantiate. Um, or X, it's not X speed, it's explosion, you know, it's short of the bits, transform dot position. Uh, I also could type my transform, it doesn't really matter, and transform dot rotation.
Bang. And then we of course need to let it destroy itself, or then we have a glitchy guest in there somewhere, so... Destroy... Um, game object. And let's see if we do not get any errors. And we do have an error. Um, unknown identifier turns form. Spell it wrong again. <sighs> Unexpected simple one. Uh, I, thought, I thought I typed that one. Pretty sure it did, but well, doesn't matter. And no errors. Yay. So we, we have our guest and make sure to attach our AI script to it. So our target will define itself. My transform to only thing we need is explosion. So um, let me share it here. X. Explosion, I already made one. Uh, you can make one yourself, you know, just find some particles or something. This does this explosion is not gonna do any damage yet or not gonna destroy any blocks. So uh, what it basically will do is it will just be some smoke and stuff. Um so let's just test that out if it works. So closing in on the target. And if you can see it clearly following us, we'll wait for a second. It will um, instantiate. Oh, uh, but everybody saw we, that we had a little explosion there, you know, just a texture. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, next tutorial, we're uh, gonna. Um, I think we're gonna wake at some that the gas shoot some fireballs at us and that the explosions actually do damage to us. And after that I wanna do an inventory or something. Uh, put a com put a comments and things you will like to tutorials you like to see in the future. So if you wanna see new IA stuff or inventories, crafting, maybe new objects or something. Doesn't really have to do anything with Minecraft if you want multiplayer tutorials again, just put it in the comments and please subscribe, add to your favorites and like. This really helps me out and if you do that I will make new videos faster, so thanks for watching, uh, bye.